Hey, it's Katrina Sawa here again with step number three and our secret number three in the eight secrets to a consistent money making business. Uh, I've been doing this little series because I have the signature talk. Here's the actual eight steps that you need to know on how to build a more consistent money making business. You can take a picture of it. Um, it's one of my talks that I give to uh, groups of entrepreneurs anywhere, virtually or in person. Um, but I thought I would just come on here because I could talk for three days on all of these eight steps, right? Uh, so I would give you one nugget at a time on these videos. Uh, so hopefully you're enjoying it and you can go to my website for more information and free stuff. If you go to jumpstartyourbiznow.com forward slash free gifts or free trainings, go to free trainings. So we talked about step number one, which is knowing your big picture vision, your goals and believing it's possible. We talked about step number two, which is pricing and developing the right offerings uh, for your ideal lifestyle, because you don't want to fit your life in around your business. You want you you want your fit your business in around the life you want to live. Uh, otherwise, you're going to be working too hard and potentially get into burnout. So the third secret, however, is to exude massive confidence to attain positive expert positioning. So I've been talking a lot about positioning lately, too, because um, I run speaker trainings and a publishing company, and uh, I talk about web design, and we have a web design company as well. And so all of that together, to be an influencer, you need to position yourself well. You need to have the confidence to position yourself well, though. So first comes the confidence, then it's investing in yourself with the right pieces to position yourself. Now, I'm not sitting here trying to sell you, but whether, you know, tell your web designer, like you have to get a better website presence perhaps, or look at your website. There's a whole bunch of little things that need to be in your website in order to make it more of a smooth running money-making business machine, frankly, in order to attract more people there as well as convert and have people sign up for stuff or buy stuff when they get there. So your website is the biggest thing in your business. It really is the most important marketing thing that you can create and have as an asset in your business. Please do not skimp on your website in this day and age. Your website is, should be the hub of your business where everybody flows in and through your website. So I just sent you a link. I just told you a link to go to my website, right? To get some free stuff. Uh, and then if I'm ever trying to do a Facebook Live and, and say to come sign up for my webinar or, you know, come take advantage of my course or a discount or something, it's all going to be going through my website. So your website needs to position you as the expert in your industry. It needs to showcase your uh, expertise and skills with having some programs, products, and services, or free stuff too as well. It might need to have videos of you there and so that people can get to know, like you, and trust you, of course. Okay. And then it's just, it needs to position you. Uh, so it needs to look the part. So if you're trying to be a paid speaker or get uh, or have a client that pays you $20,000, you better have a nice looking website, right? You don't want to look like some cobbler who doesn't have his own shoes. You need to have your own really good presence, but it's not all about your website. Positioning has to do with uh, what you sh how you show up. Uh, it could be, you know, yeah, I'm wearing a t-shirt here, but I have like nice clothes on and uh, put some jewelry on. I have my books in the back, my Zoom box. This is my Zoom box, right? So if I'm showing up to an event or a speaking gig or um, just a networking event, I want to make sure I'm showing up with expert status all over me, right? So you can see books in the background. Uh, that gives me credibility. You want to frame yourself in a Zoom box um, and in an impressive way. So that is positioning. The other thing about positioning is all on your social media profiles. So uh, what do your social media profiles look like? Are they all hidden and we can't even see what you do because you haven't opened it up to the world or the public yet? You're just kind of hiding uh, in there to only people who know you. I think that's a mistake, frankly. When you're in business for yourself, you need to be in business and open. It's like having a retail store, but your sign is closed. Your sign says closed and all your shades are drawn. Well, maybe there's no closed sign, but all your shades are drawn, the windows are dark, there's no lights on, yet you're open. So this is like social media with you not talking about your business. 
This is, yes, on your pro personal profile on Facebook and, and other places, you can talk to a certain extent about your business and what's going on. Uh, you just don't like want to be adamant about it all day, every day, constantly, okay? But in my personal profile image, it's my, it's my branding. My branding is on my, my images, on my personal and my business side, because my personal life is my business. My business life is my personal life. That doesn't mean I work 24 seven and I never take a break. That means that I am my brand. That means that I am, no matter how I show up, wherever I show up, I have to show up as my brand. The Jumpstart Your Biz Coach, coach with jumpstartyourbiznow.com, right? I have to show up as my brand. I'm not going to show up with, you know, unshowered or whatever. I'm not going to show up in that way. I'm not going to show up sitting on my couch with my laptop all fuzzy uh, and with a horrible background in my kitchen or something, right? Get yourself a professional looking background. If you're going to be on calls, um, make sure you have good professional marketing materials, please. If you are, this is positioning, right? Positioning has this. Positioning is also writing a book. So write your story, get a book done, right? Positioning is also having influence in a community. So having followers. So Get that positioning going, please. It's really, really important. And if you can just get the confidence that you probably are, you probably have so much experience, even if you're new, you have tons of experience in what you do. You just may think you're too new. And so then you don't exude that confidence. But I want you to change your mindset around that. What I really want you to do is do this. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to stop it. And I want you to know that you are that confident expert uh, person that you want to be. You can be it right now if you decide to be that, right? So you want to exude massive confidence and attain expert uh, positive positioning everywhere you go. So think about that and look at your marketing materials, look at your assets, look at your website, look at what you're putting out there, look at your Zoom room, look at your video recordings and look at how you're putting yourself out there and see if it's really somebody that you would hire uh, at a high, in, a, you know, a high investment perhaps. And if not, then what do you need to adjust or tweak? It might just be the smallest of tweaks to help you get to um, really elevate your expert status. Okay. If you have any questions, come and talk to me, comment below and go to the website for more details uh, and more free stuff. And by the way, if you're looking at your website, there is a, um, a website audio training there on the things you need to have on your website in order to convert more customers. So you can go to jumpstartyourbiznow.com forward slash free trainings and find that audio plus a bunch of other things. Okay. We'll talk to you next time for secret number four.